Hey y'all, so I'm back with this extra video to show you guys. I actually went ahead and was able to set up the the ad inside the post. The ad on the side is actually showing. And I got two ads actually that are actually showing at the bottom um, of the footer. And basically all I did was I came up here and I went back to the ad inserter. And I, for the footer itself, I went ahead and activated all the check marks. So it goes to the widget, which I which is what I wanted, and then it also goes to the post, which is what I wanted, as well as the home page and everything else. Now as far as the first block, I didn't really change anything else else as far as that goes. Um but I also remember that if you select this to be individually enabled, it'll actually activate the post itself. So say for example, for this post, uh let's go to edit, open link. In a new tab, if I had it set to post um, to be individually enabled, it would give me an option on the on the side of here that would say activate ad or something like that. Okay, but because we don't actually have that set up, here we go. No individual. It will be right here. No individual exceptions enabled for post. So in this workforce, it will let you know. Set to individually disabled or individually enabled if you want to do that. Alright, and then that would be pretty much it as far as the post and stuff goes. And let's get off of that. Then what I did, because you wanted this to show, it's one thing to do them here. But as you can see, it makes a difference as far as... All right, it makes a difference as far as the, the automatic insertion part. So if I go over here, you see what I mean. You see what it is. So this is where that part shows because the footer is already set up in the widget. So now because that's the case, we come up here, click on widgets, and of course if I have a, if I find how, if I get another video to show you guys how to add it to the header because some some themes some WordPress themes are actually gonna have it to where you can just add it into the header without any issues but um if I find one that can do that for you I'll definitely make another video so for this one because it's the first foot footer widget I went ahead and added it with my add inserter right here once I opened it up then I went ahead and I clicked the block that it was actually associated with which was the second block for the footer and then I made sure that it saved it and that's how I was able to get the ads to show up on the bottom and of course you know the more ads you have the more clicks you'll be able to get so in about I'm gonna say get in about a week because I'll be promo heavily promoting the site as well as my other site so I should definitely see it a change a huge change when it comes to my um a Google AdSense earnings um then of course there would be other things that'll go along with that which will be sites to block as far as advertisers that you don't want to be showed so that way you can get your cost per click to be to be higher um, as of right now, mine is at I believe nine nine cents. But you can you can gradually make it grow as well by getting more people to come to your site. But it, it just it's best to be able to try other methods so that way you can maximize quicker. And of course, I'll let you guys know about that as well. Um, as you can see, these are the pages, the hits, and all the other stuff. So I definitely promoted this a lot more. And if I have anything else I want to show you guys, I will definitely. Relay it back to you, and um, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys again for watching, and I will hit you guys up in the next video. Okay, this is obviously gonna be the extras video for the linking to a second site. Um, I almost forgot that for the header, if your theme doesn't already have it selected to where you can add it into the header, you can actually go into the theme code. I don't advise everybody to do this because of the fact that you can literally mess up your whole website using this method. Um, so what I like to do is tell everybody to go ahead and open up your notepad. These people. Open up your notepad. Go ahead and select all of this information right here. We're going to copy it. And we're gonna save it. So you go in copy. 
put it right here. Now it looks a mess, but it's okay. Or you can also use a uh, Notepad Plus. Notepad Plus is really good too as well. Now, of course, it's, it's definitely for coding. So, like I said, just be careful if you're going to use this method. Might need to actually cut this video in half. But you want to go ahead and make sure you save this, whether it's on your desktop or wherever you can come back to it later on, just in case you need it. And this one, I open up a new file, Control V, and you see it's saved it the same way that I actually had it. So, we'll go ahead and save that to my desktop now. I'll probably move it later, but definitely what is going to happen for the video for the purpose of the video. Um, we'll call it a one page theme header code. Okay, and that's good. So that way, in case anything happens, I'll come back to that. Anything happens, I can always revert back to the original code. So now, the only thing I'm going to have you in here for is you come down here. But the first thing you want to do is Go to your Google AdSense again. Okay, go to your ads. Okay, so now what I want you like you to do, add units. When I actually create another ad just for the header, I'm gonna text and display ads. I'm gonna change this because I want them to be horizontal. I'm gonna do large leaderboard. Okay, and then name it again. Enter, add, save and get code. Okay. Now once you get the code, go back to your edit. Go back to your header. Then you're gonna come up here. Oh, the way you can access the editor, the header is by your appearance. Click on editor. Then you, you want to scroll down until you get to theme header. So it goes. It has to say header dot php. And just automatically remember that you have to go ahead and just save that file. Like just save everything in that file before you make any changes. And then you come here. And if I remember correctly, you, once you do that, as you come up here, then you actually will insert it in the body. So you're gonna look for this part says body, right? Because it has to be after this tag right here, after the closing tag for header. So after you get the head, then you go inside the body tag, and then so we go after the first line. Because if this is if this is confusing, don't do this. If this is confusing, don't do not this, do this at all. I will actually just do it for you. You just reach out to me and let me know. Then you come down there, hit the one space, include it. Bam. So what I do I use like to the space in between, so that way I know that this is where I need to go to. So then after that, I hit update file. Because I'm I've worked with coding before for years, so now I know what to look for and what to take out. So then once you do that. Go ahead and we'll go back to click on blog. It should be fine by the morning. And you'll see how this looks now. When it comes to this part, because of the fact that there are the, the ad that you actually do have, it actually will make a difference. So as you can see, this is where it placed it. Now I can actually change it to where it places it above everything. And we can try that right quick. Copy, delete the one you just added. Put it right here. Cover a couple spaces. Update file. Then I'm going to make sure that it's uh, centered. Refresh. And we'll see where it's placed at now. But as you can see, the coding really has a lot to do with what your site is going to look like at the end of the day. So you want to be prepared for that and and know what you're doing because at the end of the day, if you don't know what you're doing, you're going to mess everything up. And I still did it at that side, which is actually at this point, I'm okay with that as long as it's showing up. So that means that over time, when it comes, if I come back to this page, it's going to show itself again. So now all my, all my ads are showing. My sidebar is completely showing. 
and uh, might be able to go ahead and see if I can uh, center this text align again if you don't know how to do this don't mess with it that might not even work I don't know if you think it's because of the photo or code or whatever but that's something I can come back to later and, and do um, but overall this is what I want you guys to see this is what I actually want you to attempt on your own if you know or have any kind of idea how coding works and as you can see it showed up so um, I do still want to see if I get it centered so let me see how I can do that in a second okay so I was able to center it so now we are officially completed um, what I ended up doing was I actually ended up coming back into my code and I just put it into center tags uh, this is my opening center tag then I put the code. You can actually hit enter once so that you can won't confuse yourself. Then I put the code to my. Um, keep in mind, remember if you're gonna put this in the header, uh, to adjust however you need to. But again, make sure that it's inside the heading header tag, like underneath this before the body. This is my whole code right here from script to script. That's actually the code from Google AdSense. Um, I didn't, I didn't really add anything else with that. I tried to add the align um, code in it. It didn't really work out for this one. Mostly because I'm not sure why. Actually, sometimes it does work out, sometimes it doesn't. So, but the great thing about coding is there's always another way to make it work. So that's why I was like, let me go ahead and just use the center code, uh, which is just opening tag right here for center. And then after you put your script in, then after that closing script, then you put the closing center script. So that way it keeps it all inside. Otherwise, it's going to be out of whack. So this is the whole code right here, the new code that we added in here. And then it went ahead to update the file. So once you do that, then of course that's how this was able to show up this way. And now I have everything showing up like I wanted to. So now the great thing about actually having it on that specific um, page on this file is that no matter what page people go to, they're going to see that header. They're gonna see that that ad, the advertisements up there at all times. Now you change these hours because I don't want to load anymore. I'll come back to that. But yes, as you can see, those will happen. And then of course you still get the footers. So at the end of the day, it, it, it's it's works it's working itself out. So. I can't complain. I'm really happy with how everything turned out to be. So now I literally just have to. Now that the ads are up, let's go ahead and promote. That's it. Let's go ahead and promote. And uh, it actually is completed for this segment. Um, the next one will be on how to block out certain sites to maximize your cost per click. Also, um, more options and more ways to promote your site and promote what you get on there and how to get found better and quicker on your site via SEO SEO social media whatever and most importantly how to do it how to get it done via autopilot so that way you don't have to find yourself sitting in front of a computer hours and hours on end the only thing you need to be working on is your website the only thing you need to be working on is adding new content and that's the only thing that you should really be focused on at the end of the day so um, Again, if you have any questions, I'm here. Hit me up. My number is 678-809-8729. If you want any graphics, you can definitely contact me through this site. You can also use my phone number at 404-458-7603. And I will help you guys out with anything that you have any questions about. Um, I'm here available at all times. All right, so thank you guys so much for the time and for your, for your support and watching this video. I will absolutely see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much.